hi guys welcome to my channel uh, this is my first video on machine learning uh, here today we are going to just cover the basics of machine learning and also in future i am definitely going to uh, make videos on uh, machine learning algorithms in depth so make sure you all subscribe to my channel today we are going to cover uh, the below topics uh, introduction to machine learning use cases of machine learning learning styles of machine learning supervised learning and its use cases unsupervised learning and its use cases reinforcement learning and its use cases and finally we are going to wrap it up with ml cheat map section to machine learning machine learning is a field to understand and build models that learn to perform set of tasks so what we are saying here is uh, we are trying to train a particular machine uh, let's say algorithm uh, and with a, with a set of data and we are trying to get our outcome so this process or uh, this process is called machine learning so here we are trying to understand and build the models uh, that learn to perform set of tasks right so machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence so here is my favorite code which i have pinned down for you all if the machine learning is the rocket to launch in future then data is the fuel so in order to get a perfect machine learning model you need to have a perfect data use cases of machine learning house price prediction customer churn which is widely used in insurance companies and don't be surprised insurance companies have already predicted that when are you going to leave their company or unsubscribe their services you know uh, that's that's what we call as customer churn in insurance domain image classification uh, the classic example for image classification is uh, meme classification by facebook generative text example chat gpt building chatbots price model demand analytics etc demand analytics is nothing but uh, retail companies do uh, try to predict the seasonality of their orders uh, so in order to sustain the market they do uh, order all their products in advanced uh, according to their demand so demand analytics is one of the crucial uh, method to leverage their business learning style of ml algorithms so there are different types of machine learning algorithms there is a linear regression logistic regression k means nearest neighbor k modes there are many but in order to understand or view in a bigger picture we are trying to get to know them by their learning styles so there are three different types here which i have mentioned but there is a fourth one which i didn't mention that is semi supervised learning uh, uh, i promise you guys that i'm going to uh, give you a brief introduction of semi supervised learning in future so uh, let's just dive into these three for now supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning supervised learning in supervised learning labels are given in the data where let's say suppose uh if you have a small uh puppy in your house or let's say if if you have a small baby in the house and you're teaching them uh you know to call uh or you know to identify a particular object say hey uh this is ball this is bat um, and the baby is learning with the help of the labels or the names which you are uh, you know teaching them so right so uh model learns from the label in order to classify the output model takes the data has the guide learns the data and tries to predict it here is the example for it here we are trying to feeding our machine learning model with two different images and also with its label okay so here is my dog image here is my cat image and i am trying to uh, train the data with the labels to it okay so Uh, after training it i am giving a sample image of uh, to my machine learning model uh, to uh, i am asking it to predict what kind of image is it and it predicts hey this is a dog 
successfully we did build a classification machine learning model don't try to get confused the terms i'm using here the classification and all uh, you'll you'll actually get a basic view when we reach out to ml cheat map at the end of this video use cases of supervised learning spam detection image classification price prediction voice recognition spam detection is nothing but uh if, if you check your mail uh you see a section called spam where you can see all the mails which do contain the uh, ads in it it directly moves towards spam right so you know thanks to supervised learning uh where you know we do get a lot of scam mails daily and we are getting protected by this algorithm thanks to it unsupervised learning machine learning algorithms does not have any label data so here's the disadvantage for unsupervised learning it does not have any advantage just like the supervised model did it does not have any algorithms we are just you know training the data with different kinds of uh, uh, data without any labels to it and we are asking the model to classify them so it's a classic example uh, shown here for the classification also so uh, so that here the training set uh, let's say there's an apple there's a banana there are there are few kinds of citrus fruits uh, we are trying to train these images to the model and if you can see here um, they do have uh, grouped up according to the similarities right so the similar way or an example algorithm for unsupervised learning is k nearest so um, even for the k nearest i'm going to you know uh, give you a more detailed explanation in the future videos for now you can just consider hey uh, this 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 is a classic example for the k nearest and k nearest is nothing but as unsupervised learning algorithm use cases of unsupervised learning customer segmentation recommender systems anomaly detection audience segmentation customer segmentation is nothing but when a company wants to you know um, send the ads to the particular target audience uh so audience with the similarities such as um you know if if they tend to listen to the same music if they tend to buy the same product uh customer segmentation is nothing but segmenting or clustering those those people in the form of groups okay recommendation systems the simplest example for the recommendation system is a netflix recommendation algorithm anomaly detection when we talk about anomaly detection let's say uh, you know the other 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 classic example is a credit credit card fraud detection if you lose a credit card and if someone if someone tries to uh, use the credit card according to your transactional behavior if the transaction is completely contrast then your credit card is going to get blocked so that's a classic example of unsupervised learning reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning method where an intelligent agent or a computer program or an algorithm interacts with the environment and learns to act within that so training up a dog if the dog does what you want and then you give him a treat right so dog does learn okay in order to uh, you know uh, if he is going to give me a treat then i'm going to sit down so this is a reward method uh or we can say reinforcement reinforcement learning use cases of reinforcement reinforcement learning automated robot natural language processing gaming traffic controls here is the ml cheat map uh you can see the bigger picture of machine learning uh algorithms are classified into three different segments reinforcement learning supervised learning unsupervised learning so here uh, in the sub fields you you in the sub fields you do see uh, many algorithms you can see k means uh, you know uh, principal component analysis, uh, analysis decision tree linear regression uh, if you tend to study all these at a time then you are going to get confused so in order to avoid such confusion you need to understand 
uh, you need to uh, study these algorithms in a form of group try to segment these algorithms in the form of group okay uh, so in an in an unsupervised learning you can see the clustering and dimensionality reduction in supervised learning you can see regression and classification regression is uh, nothing but when you try to predict a price or uh, if if the if the outcome is a continuous variable such as number you know if you want to predict something which is in the form of number like covid cases a price prediction then we can use the reduction uh, regression models right so if you if if it's a binary classification or a multi classification uh, then you can use classification models example the cat and dog example which i have given to you yeah that's the classification problem statement so here is the ml cheat map uh, which you can use to uh, uh, get through all these algorithms and in future i am going to explain each and every algorithm in detail so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel thank you